Good um, afternoon, everyone, and uh, good to see you all joining in with us. And we will um, get started in just a minute to um, so get things set up. Um, it's a, kind of a cloudy, overcast day here, but uh, hoping that uh, um, you all are enjoying the day that God has made as we are gathered together in community. Uh, it's good to see Sharon and Jenny and Lynn with us, uh, uh, and Mike as well. Uh, Gene and Tom and Steve. Um, so thank you all for joining in. Um, uh, there's Kathy. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, we're all together now in our places. Uh, looking forward for to others joining to to others joining us as well. Um, so we will get started today with um, some breathing. Uh, hi, Gail. Um, love to all you too, Sharon and Ernie. Hope you're doing well. So let's uh, start by breathing. Okay. We breathe in the breath of God, and we breathe out our cares and our concerns, and we breathe in the love of God, and we breathe out our doubts and our despairs, and we breathe in the life of God, and we breathe out our fears and our frustration. We sit quietly before the one who gives life and love to all creation. We sit in awe of the one who formed us in our mother's womb. We sit surrounded by the peace given by the one in every fiber of our being. Amen. Our reading today comes from Psalm 119. Um, Beginning at verse 105, if you've been following along the daily Moravian text uh, lectionary, we've been reading through Psalm 119 for quite some time now. Uh, this particular section in my study Bible says it's um, a, um, a, a passage or set of verses that, that emphasizes that in whatever afflictions may come, the psalmist, psalmist holds to God's decrees. So hear these words. Again, Psalm 119, beginning at the verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to observe your religious ordinances. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. You know, I'm, uh, I'm impressed, actually, by the psalmist's um, reflection and um, faithfulness in being able to hold fast to God's word. Um, personally, there are days when I struggle with that. Let's just be real and be honest. There's lots of things that God calls us to be and do um, that might challenge us in times. So, um, uh, forgiving Others, as we have been forgiven, comes to mind as one of those challenging things. Um, and, um, you know, I think it's always a lofty goal for us to stick with God's word. Um, but I also think that when we look in the mirror, we see that there are many days when we just don't do quite as well as we had hoped we would. And I think the hope comes from us in all of that is that there's. Um, another aspect of God's word, and that's God's word known as Jesus, coming kind of from the Gospel of John, where John says in the beginning, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. 
you know, in God's word made flesh in Jesus, we're given hope that number one, we're given somebody to walk with us, um, to, to breathe the Holy Spirit upon us and to walk with us as we struggle in all of the things that happen in our lives. Um, as the world around us um, kind of weighs heavy on us, as, uh, as what we see on television or hear about in the news just rips our hearts, we're promised through Jesus uh, number one, uh, some presence of God and all of that. And then number two, a new horizon. And I think, the, um, so maybe our, our call, our lamp to our feet today is to simply just to follow Jesus as best we can, knowing that God will continue to look for, um, look for us. We'll be standing there with arms wide open to welcome us back and welcome us um, into the loving embrace that he can give us uh, in this day and in the days ahead. Um, so as we pray today, um, let's give thanks for God's presence in our lives. Um, our favorite group is back. Um, uh, so hear their words uh, of uh, prayer and praise as well, and we'll get back together and pray. This is my cry, this is my song, you are my guiding light, when the way is unknown, and when the sunny skies turn shades of gray. I'll stay close by your side as you lead the way. Jesus, lead on, I will follow. Jesus, lead on, let your love light the way. Jesus, lead on, I will follow. Jesus, lead on. Describe you now this song. You are the guiding light for this journey I'm on. And when my vision is clouded by the wind and the I'll stay close by your side to you lead the way. Jesus, lead on.
Jesus lead on, I will follow. Hopeful words from a praise band at uh, Trinity Lutheran Church in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, where I did my internship. Uh, good to see them uh, with us and have them with us again today. <laughs> Gotta love technology, right? So now we gather together and we pray for God's people, for God's world, uh, and for everybody that's in need. So let us pray. Jesus, lead us as your church, as your people. Lead us to reach out to our neighbor with loving, with a loving embrace, even if, the, if in this particular time that embrace has got to be somewhat from a distance and not really um, literal, but more figurative. Lead us to care for our neighbor, to work with and for our neighbor. Lead us, dear God, to serve alongside our neighbor so that all your people can feel your blessing, can know your love, and can feel your presence in and among them in all that they face. Jesus, lead us as your church, lead us as a nation, lead us as a people to do the very best we can to hear your word, to observe your word, and to follow your word. And when we stumble, we thank you for being there to catch us. <laughs>